Today I'm going to share with you a quick and easy way to create an ebook using Canva. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and be your own boss. To join the boss tribe, all you have to do is hit subscribe. I absolutely love Canva. Canva has thousands of pre-made templates to help you jumpstart your ebook design, which basically means you don't have to create an ebook from scratch. I'm going to show you step by step how you can customize a Canva template to create your very own ebook. Plus, I'm going to share with you a few Canva tips for editing your ebook. Now, before we jump into this tutorial, I do want to mention Canva's license agreement. And inside of this agreement, it lets you know what you can and cannot do with Canva templates and elements. So I highly recommend that you take a moment to read through that before you start creating your ebook. I will leave a link to the license agreement down below in the description box. Now let me show you how you can get started creating your ebook using Canva. If you don't have a Canva account, you can sign up for a free account. All you need is an email and create a password. From the Canva homepage, go to the top and type in ebook in the search bar. As you can see, Canva has a variety of ebook templates that you can choose from. You can just choose a template that fits your style that you want. If you see a template that has a crown logo, that means that this template is only available with a Canva Pro account or you will have to pay per use. If you want to try Canva Pro, free for 30 days, I will leave a link down below in the description box. Once you find a template that you like, you want to see how it looks, you can click on the three dots in the right hand corner, select preview this template, and you will be able to see the layout of that ebook and to see if this is something that you want to use for your ebook. If you like this ebook and you want to save it for later and just go through and look through a variety of templates, you can star it and save it for later. Once you're ready to customize your ebook or customize the template, you want to click on customize this template. And this brings us to the Canva editor. Everything that you see within these pages can be edited to customize your brand or the style that you want for your ebook. Before you get started editing, the first thing that I recommend that you do is to turn on the print bleed margins. To do that, you want to go to the file menu, select show print bleed, and it's going to create a border around your ebook. You just want to make sure that all of your content is within this border. So if your customer or reader decides to print out your ebook, they won't have any printing issues. First, let's talk about customizing fonts and your text. To start customizing your fonts, all you have to do is just click on the element and the toolbar for the element will appear here at the top. To change the font style of your ebook title, you can do that by clicking on this menu, click on the drop down, and you will see all the different font styles that are available for you to choose from. Again, keep in mind, if you see the crown logo, that font is only available with Canva Pro. But there are still a lot of free fonts that you can choose from. So once you're ready and you find one that you like, you just click on it and it will change that title to that font style. This is another cool feature that Canva has. You can also just change that font style throughout your entire ebook. So if you wanted to do that, you can select change all and all of the font will change from the previous font to the new font style that you've chosen. You can also change the size of the font by either dragging out the corners of the font box or the text box or by going to the top toolbar and selecting the minus or plus keys to change the size of the font. You can change your title color or the text color by clicking on the text button at the top and then the color menu will appear on the left hand side. You can choose from document colors that's already been selected. If you have your brand colors established, you can use your brand colors and they also have a few default colors at the bottom here. To add colors, you can click the plus button. You can drag throughout here and change the color that way. If you know the exact hex code color for a particular color that you want to use, you will simply just type that into the box. You can also bold and italicize your font. Depending on the font style, it will allow you to do that. 
You can change the alignment of your fonts. You can highlight all of the font that you want to realign, select the alignment button, and you can change it to be right aligned, centered, left aligned, or justified. It just depends on what you want for your style. And the last option of the text box that I want to show you is the effects option. So you can change the effects of your text. So if you want your title of your ebook to stand out a little bit, you can use these options for your title. Now, if there's something that you don't want to use, you can also highlight that and just hit the trash can icon to delete it. To actually change the title of your ebook, you simply just highlight on the text, hit delete, and then type in the name of your ebook. Um, let's see. Let's say if I wanted to make a book about travel, I would just type how to travel on a budget. And that will be the name of my ebook. Now let's talk about adding the text content to your ebook. Depending on the template that you've chosen, they will have text boxes already set up for you. Again, and they have the same toolbar as with the font titles and headers. So you can go up here and you can change the font style, the size, color, and the alignment of your text. To change it, you can highlight, delete the information, and add your text content. I highly recommend that you have your text for your ebook in a Google Doc or a Word Doc so you can easily just copy and paste your information directly into your ebook design. One other option that I want to show you when adding your text content is spacing out your content. So you can just highlight the information that you want to space, go to the top toolbar and select the spacing option, and you can increase or decrease the line spacing of your text box. Now, as you make changes to your ebook, you want to make sure that the information that you're changing is being saved. Canva automatically saves your changes, but if you just want to make sure, you will go to the top, select the file button, and go down and select save. As you can see, all changes have been saved. If it doesn't say this, just go ahead and hit save, and it will save it for you. If you make a mistake and delete something or make a change that you don't like, you can use the undo option to undo any changes that you make. Now let's talk about adding images to your ebook. Canva has a huge stock photo library for you to choose from and use images in your ebook. To access that, you want to go to the left hand toolbar, click on elements. In the search bar, you want to type in the type of photo that you're looking for. So, since I'm creating a travel ebook, I will select travel. It will show you all the elements, but you want photos, so click on photos. So, you will see all the photos available that relates to that keyword or that word that you search and it will show here and again keep in mind there are some photos that are free to use and some photos that are available in Canva Pro. Once you find a photo that you want to use you just click on the photo and drag it into place. That's it. It's simple click and drag. Let me show you one more time. You find a photo that you like and you drag it into place. Once you drag the photo into place you can click on that photo and to reposition it however you want. You can also use your own photos by uploading your photos directly into Canva. You go back to the toolbar on the left hand side, select Uploads, go to the right hand corner of the Uploads button. You can add photos directly from your computer, Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, Dropbox, and your Google Photos. Now let's customize the colors of our ebook. To customize a color, you just want to click on that element that you want to change the color for. So let's say I want to change the color of this background. I have my background highlighted and my color button will appear at this top toolbar. I will select that and then I can choose from any of these colors to change it from. One of the cool things that Canva does, it automatically pulls the colors from any photos that you use and you can simply just use the colors that match the photo. I think this is great because it helps make your design color cohesive. You can also use your brand colors. If you have the free account, Canva allows you to up to three colors that you can add to your brand kit. With the Canva Pro account, you can have as many colors as you want. If you don't have a brand kit or a brand color, and you still want to use a color palette, 
you can go to the top and search for a certain color that you may want to use so let's say pink Canva would generate a color palette that you may want to use in your ebook design and to change the color throughout my ebook I could simply use this change all button to change all of the 10 colors to that blue color that I chose if there's a page in your ebook that you really like and you want to create more of that same page right here above the page you can select the plus button to duplicate that page and you can do that throughout your ebook if there's a page that you don't want to include in your ebook then you can simply select the trash can icon to delete that page now let me show you how to add links to your ebook because this is a PDF format you can add links to help drive traffic to your website, social media pages, or your products and services. To add a link, all you have to do is select what you want to be hyperlinked. Go to the top, select the three dots, click on this paper clip icon, and then paste your link. And now it is hyperlinked. You can also do this with images and elements as well so if someone clicked on one of these elements i can highlight that hit the link button copy my link and that element will now be linked to my website or whatever you choose to link so i want to show you a few canva tips for editing your ebook the first one i want to show you is how to easily find and replace text throughout your ebook so to do this go to the file button at the top and then select find and replace type in the word that you want to replace and then type in the word that you want to replace it with and then you can choose to only replace it on the current page by simply hitting replace or you can hit replace all and it will change all of those words the next canva tip that i want to show you is to use the page grid to manage your ebook pages to get there you want to select this number at the bottom now this number is actually just the number of pages in your ebook so it may not be the same number when you're editing your ebook so click on that and you will see all the pages in the layout of your ebook you can simply select the page and move the page around so if you want to rearrange your pages you can do that from here and you can also add duplicate and delete pages from this page grid as well and to get back to the editor you simply click on the number again and it would take you back to the single page view and another tip that I want to show you is how to add pages from other templates to your ebook template that you've already chosen this is a great way to make your ebook a little bit more unique and you kind of can mix and match pages from different templates so as you scroll through and you find a page that you want to use what you want to do is go and add a new page so now you have a blank page and then you select the page of the template that you want to add and now that page is added to your ebook again this is just a great way to mix and match templates and make your ebook a little bit more unique if you want more canva tips make sure to check out my canva tips and tricks video i'll make sure to link it down in the description box once you're done customizing your ebook you have added all of your content that you want to add to your ebook it is time to download your ebook. You want to go to the top and make sure that you change the title or the name of your Canva design to the title of your ebook. Then you want to go to, over to the share button, select share, select download. You want to change the file type to PDF standard. This is the best option for when you are emailing and sharing your document because they make sure that the file isn't too big. And then you select download. And voila, this is what your ebook will look like from a PDF format. Once you download your ebook, you are ready to share your ebook with your audience. For more Canva tips, make sure that you check out this video right here. And if you guys have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.